Welcome to Romantic Designs Artist Studio a special presentation mini online art classes with Abby and Lana. Grandma, oh. we don't look like that anymore. Yeah, make a new sculpture. I don't know, Mickey. <laughs> I think you kind of do look the same. Okay, let's get started. So the supplies you'll need is at least seven or eight different colored beads of your choice, blue paint, a canvas or paper, a paintbrush, a pencil, some white glue, a popsicle stick, I would choose about four, a design or drawing of the outline or object um, to create your mosaic art, and a dish for your glue or paint. And here are some examples of the finished product. Step one is to grab your dish, canvas or paper, paintbrush and blue paint, and to paint your canvas blue. Make sure to get your whole canvas. Step two is to grab your canvas and put it aside to let it dry and put everything around it away. And then take your design, flip it over, and scribble all over the back with a dark pencil. And make sure you cover the whole design. And when you're finished, it should look like this. Step three is to grab your dry canvas and tape it down so it won't move and your scribbled on design and place it on your canvas and tape that as well. And then with a pen or pencil, trace it onto your canvas. Remember to lift your design every once in a while to make sure that it is showing on your canvas. And you can remove your design and the tape and set it aside. So as you can see, your pattern is divided up into big sections and each section will get its own color of beads and you're going to need your dish, glue, and one color of your of beets and pour a little bit of glue into your dish. So, grab your paintbrush and dip it into the glue and then put a little bit in one section and then pour your beads onto it. So when you have enough glue in your section, you can go ahead and start dropping your beads. And don't worry about putting too many beads. And when you're done, you can just tap it lightly and then push the beads away. Now on the opposite side, do the same thing. Lana, why do we go to the opposite side? Because we need to let the other side dry. I'm going to do this side this color. And I'm going to do this side this orange. And after you filled in a few sections, you can really see your shape tape form. And this is how ours looks so far. 
And this is our finished product. You know what? I think mine looks better. Um, no, mine is clearly better than yours. No. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Well, before you go, always we'll remember to sign, sign your, your work. work. Thank you for joining Abby and Lana for our online classes. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for more! more.